In this uh, discussion, we will talk about uh, two parts. The first is a concept. We will give a review for the how to determine a system is linear. What a LTI system mean? How to do the flip and jump for a convolution? Then we uh, we will give three concrete questions in the question sheet question set. The first is about the linear system. The second is uh, like how to utilize the property of LTI system to do to help solve questions. The third is about the convolution. And we will give some examples uh, like the have you to uh, example on how to do the flip and jack in the convolutions. Yeah. Um. So the the discussion, uh, the solutions of all the questions of this discussion will also be uploaded uploaded onto the CCLE. If you have any questions about the contents in the discussion and the homework, you are welcome to the TROs. And uh, uh, as you have seen in the email, we have already, already released the TROs on the last Friday. You can uh, go to the TROs and, ask, and discuss with us about the questions in homework or this discussion sheet. Okay, so the first is uh, uh, the first concept is how to determine a system is linear. So, to uh, when we encounter these questions, uh, we should have keep in mind that to determine a system linear. Linear to the system if it's linear, we need to check two properties. One is the homogeneity. The other is the additivity. So for the next, in short, for the homogeneity. If we have system out system output y t equal to the f x t, uh, and we define that the y a t is f a x t like the we have the Input uh, x t multiply with uh, constant uh, a. Then, with the previous condition, we can have a. If we multiply the output y t with a, is equal to. It's equal to the. Y T, namely the F A X T. So this is uh, the property for the homogeneity. For the another property is the, we call it A additivity. Saying that if we define the system, uh. A system of y equals to f x t, and uh, we have the y one t to be the f x one t, y two t to be f x t. So we have two inputs uh, which correspond to two different outputs, and then. So y one two t will be the x f x one t 
plus x2t. It's equal to y1t plus y2t. It means that like, so the, if the input is the addition of x1t and x2t, its output is the uh, it's all the addition of uh, when we feed each into the system. Okay. Why uh when you are doing the check you uh you just need to apply this for the system and the time. If it fails for either one of this property, you can stop the check and assert this system is nonlinear, which means that uh, if if a system fails in either one of these properties, you don't need to check another. Okay, the second is, uh, the qu second question uh, I ask is about what are LTI system mean? Uh, actually, there is no uh, specific answer for it. Uh, the, the intention for me to write this question here, second question here, is just uh, um, to let you be aware that the it's necessary to it's necessary to keep in mind of using the properties of the LTI system for solving the problem. Uh, in the future homeworks and uh, exams for this class, the LTI system give you that the time invariance. Secondly, it's the means that it has some linearity. Both time invariance and linearity, uh, uh, they are like the you might face some kind of questions in the future lectures or future concept or concept in future lectures, such as convolution, like the uh, professor will might teach in the future lectures that what properties uh, uh convolution system is is it a LTI system under what kind of condition? So, yeah, and uh, in the following question state, we will also give examples about uh, how to utilize the linearity for solving the question Q2. Well, the next is about how to do the flip and jack for the convolution. So the to define convolution we can do by say we have the output yt is equal to the convolution between the ft and the gt. Uh, let's say if we find that the expression of the let's it might be more simple than the yt and more easy to to, to flip and jug and then we apply on the ft flip and jug on the ft um here I not I will not give the concrete examples of the uh, GT and FT. I will just uh, show the example on FT and C. How we would flip and check on it. Uh, let's say the let's say the FT is equal to.
sorry. Let's say ft is equal to mu ut minus 1. So its plot is so and uh, if we change the t to tau it will be the same and we can say this is f tau then the first step flip on ft will be on the f tau will be f minus tau and we can say that we can see that how is it is one and f minus tau will be u minus tau minus one we just substitute the uh the tau is minus tau when we do the flip and then we can see that So this is the uh, f minus tau. This is the second, first step and the second step. System, second is uh, the next step. Still we can have access here. And we do the check. So this is tall access. And the way F T minus tall will be minus U T minus tall minus one. So, uh, this means that like the, if we continuously add t, uh, increase the value of t, the u, the previous f minus tau will go in this direction, and if we man if we it decreases the value of t to uh, f t minus tau will go in this direction, and uh, we can continue to drag the drag the f t minus tau in this tau axis according to according to the value of the t, and then we. Uh, in specific value of t, we can check that uh, the value of f t minus tau multiplied with the g tau. Sometimes they are, uh, if it is zero or not. If it is not zero, we can calculate the in integral, and this will return our some non zero value of the y t. Yeah, so this is the general philosophy for doing the fleet and jack for the convolution. Okay, and then we will move ahead. Okay, he here we will continue with the question set. So the first question is to check the need uh linearity for the four six term. Uh as well uh we can check the for this the, the y for the question A we can see check the homogeneity. We have I Y T Y A T is equal to the Max t plus and uh, a y t 
is equal to the a t plus a x t. We can see that this part is equal to each other, but the first portion this is different from each other. So y a t is not equal to the a y t. The system is linear because it's a field in the homogeneity. The second uh, question is for y t is equal to one plus x t multiplied with cosine omega t. As well, we can check this homogeneity first. Okay, have a y t is equal to and uh, sorry. A plus uh, clearly we can see that a y t is not equal to y a t. System is linear. For the third uh, sample question C, we can go homogeneity as well. Plus A X T equal to And uh, we can still see that uh, um, y a t is not equal to a y t. So y t, yeah. Um, to the question D, we can, uh, yeah, as we go for uh, similar as what we do for previous uh, questions, we can first check the homogeneity. The A Y T is equal to Y A T is equal to X A X T plus A X minus T U T A Y T equal to Uh, we can see that if we extract the xt outside of the presence of the yat, we can find that the yat is equal to the ayt. So this means that this is correct. It has the homogeneity for the system yt here. And uh, secondly, we check the activity here we can have the y one t is equal to like the y one two t 
t is equal to x one t plus x one x two t plus x one minus t plus x two minus t we can find that uh, it can be decomposed by y one t plus y two t. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, if you want to make the proof more rigorous, you should like to predefine that y one t is equal to uh, the output of x one t, namely. And y two t should be oh well because we here we have checked that this term both conform on the homogeneity and the adjectivity. So the system is linear. Uh, second question is, uh, is to check it on standing on the LTI system. Uh, basically, it uh, this related to the linearity. This question related to linearity. It asks, consider a LTI system whose response to x one t is y one t. In is above x one t y one t. Sketch the response of uh, to the input of x two t. Okay, so x two t is here, and uh, we should get the result of y two t. Um, here we, uh, we will use linearity to solve the problem. The first step is to express the x two t in the form of x one t maybe how can x one t how can we derive the x two t from x one t we can see that the When we compile the x one t and x two t, we can find that so we can find that x two t is the addition of the two shift of the x one t, namely x one t plus x one t plus one because previously the center of the x one t is here so we can have the one x one t shown here and this shift version is centered on the zero and the addition will be x two t and we have already drawn it here so because uh, then we can apply the linearity here. Linearity denotes that uh, means that y two t will also be the response of uh, the addition of the y one t plus y. One t plus one. So we can. So the y one t is here, and we here we use the 
color of red to denote the white Y1 T plus one. And we draw it on the this figure as well. So this is minus one. So you see so previous is a peak of the Y1 T is is one uh, correspond to two equal to two. Now it will be correspond to two t equal to one. Yeah, and here is the y one t plus one. And the black is the y one t. Uh, we just need to calculate this addition. Uh, yeah, it's the below. So here I would not draw the answer for it, the, uh, the final answer for it, and leave it for you. So uh, the third part is about the convolution. The first is ask you to utilize the flip and jab to do the convolution. As usual, like so, we can write the yt is equal to the convolution between the like g tau because we find the expression of at is more uh, tractable for utilize for using the flip plan jack. We can say that. Oh. We can have the ft convolute with the gt and this is the integral of the g tau ft minus tau d tau and uh, here we can sketch the uh, sketch figure work for the uh, g tau and uh, f tau ft minus tau So, f minus tau, we can jump into the f minus tau. Um, f minus tau is Is the u u tau minus one and it will be here so this is f minus tau and the f t minus tau is equal to u minus t minus tau minus one equal to u tau minus t minus one now we can sketch the g tau when tau is zero g tau is one and uh, g tau is only not zero one tau is larger than zero so we can sketch this tau like this and uh, write the integral of the multiplication of g tau and the And the uh, ft minus tau, and uh, it can be two. It uh, mm. 
when t plus tau uh, is smaller than is smaller than zero. This is a uh, F T minus tau will be like this. So it, it has an overlap with the G tau. And so the integral will be from zero to infinite. When the when the t plus tau is larger than zero, the 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 sliding of f minus f t minus tau will be uh, on the right hand of the uh, of the y axis. So in that case, f tau can be f t minus tau can be. Uh, Denotes as the green, uh, green um, step function. So this, in this case, the integral will from will start from the one plus one plus t two infinite, and yeah. So this is the, uh, and we can we can also solve the integral. So it's, it's uh, minus a minus t from and the and this is uh, Okay, so this is the solution for the question A. For the question B, it asks for finding a function h t such that y t is equal to x t uh, congruent with h t and y t is given by a time, sh uh, time shift of x t so so this uh, once in this we can uh, think about the shifting property and we can find that if x t Convolute with a uh, delta function delta t minus one, it will be x t minus one. And uh, so, uh, also we have y t equals to t minus one. We can derive that h t is equal to the dead t minus one. The last sub question is uh, asking you to simplify the following expression. Here we can see that the left the left hand can be uh, simplified because uh, if we draw the the 
the tau excess, if we draw the u minus tau plus 3, it uh, so this is u minus tau plus 3 and uh, the delta the delta tau minus 1 is this and so we can see that We can simplify the to be the uh, this integral to be the to be only the data function because the multiplication here will always have a non zero value for this specific. Uh, For the specific tau minus one, and its integral can be because uh, we learned previously that the integral of a data function could is a step function and then we can continuously apply in the sibling property in this question here the it comes g minus one tau lu with the two data function so Plus, we see here that for this, uh, the delta two t is equal to. So this is what we did in the homework two, right? So if we can apply this property to our question here. This can be the delta t minus three, t minus four. So this come to our answer. We have the first is mu g minus three. The second is one over two mu g minus five. Yeah. So this is uh what we review for the uh, week four. Yeah. That's all.